What is up people, it's your boy Nas, aka D Hidden Legend, and I'm back again with another great video. So, I'm sure by the thumbnail and the title of the video, you guys already know what it is. I'm here to rap and pay homage to the one and only late king of pop, Michael Jackson. And in this video, I will be talking about his best moments of his whole entire career. If you don't know, let me tell you, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. I'm wearing this white glove. This is just to represent him in this video because, you know, he's the best. Come on. For a long time, almost 10 years now, I've been um, supporting him, liking his music, listening, dancing like him, all of that. I've been doing that for a while. And, you know, it's been a while since I've really spoken about how he's helped me and inspired me because I've been concentrating on my own craft. But in this video, I'm basically just talking and I, about the best moments I feel like um, for his career life for me and hopefully you agree put into two parts this is part one part two I can't fit everything in one video get straight to it let's, let's not waste any time so obviously I've got the Fedora too um, yeah you know I'm ripping MJ today today's MJ uh, plus last week was his anniversary as well so 12th death anniversary RIP to him but let's get straight to it so what do we have the first moment that's his way up, amazing, and will never be touched is black or white. Black or white. Black or white will never ever be touched. That music video is hands down MJ's best. Black or white is um personally I, 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 I think this music video is amazing. And I think it's his most cultured one because I think music's supposed to bring people together in different demographics, different um, ethnicities is supposed to bring people together and the song that <clears throat> holds up is black or white black or white just reunites different races together and i just feel like it's one of the best moments of nj's career and this is a moment where most people will always look back and say you know nj was the king was during this era <clears throat> this is of course dangerous if you if you know the mj era is dangerous do not bad off the wall of those this is of dangerous and dangerous also interesting era I think it was a big sequel to Bad. It was a big sequel to Bad. I don't see MJ skip about the change and stuff. But this is just an amazing moment. And I feel like it's one of his best ever he created in his whole entire career. I don't think this one will be able to. But Black or White, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. After Black or White, I have... It's completely different from Black or White, by the way. I put Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana is up there, too. Now, some may agree, some may disagree, but <clears throat> Dirty Diana has to be up there as one of NJ's best moments. And it's for a number of reasons. First of all, there's always this um, this thing where people, if you were to ask someone a song you know about NJ, the first thing they'll see is Billie Jean. Dirty Diana is way more relatable than Billie Jean. Billie Jean, yeah, is about, you know, that's not my son. But what Dirty Diana does, Dirty Diana is Dirty Diana is a simply relatable song. I'm so for a guy dealing with group dreaming with hookers in a club. That's why Dirty Diana is so much relatable to Billy Jean. Because not many men have the issue of saying, oh, that's not my son, come on. I mean I haven't. But you know, that's why I'm saying Dirty Diana is definitely up there because you know, it's it's hard the guitar, like this is MJ. Deepest, well, okay, second deepest from Billy Jean, but it's, it's definitely one of the most uniquest ones too. Different because you know we don't really have that rock bad boy feeling from MJ. Because obviously this is bad, and this is after the thriller, after the, the glow, the magic of thriller. We have the war hard bad, and it's such a great combat. And you know I just love this song Dirty Diana. I think it has a great message, and yeah, it's so hard song. MJ was so hard in this song. I, I kind of feel like it's underrated. People, they only mainly talk about Billie Jean. That's it, I don't know. It has to be up there. And, yeah, but that's that's just me anyway. But Dirty Diana is definitely one of MJ's best moms. After Dirty Diana, Dirty Diana, we have the magical, the amazing Remember the Time. Remember the Time is up there too. Beating Dirty Diana and Black or White. Remember the time is up there. I can say, Remember the time is probably one of the most creative music videos 
I'm telling you, this song, no one needs the song amazing, but the music videos on another level, like, remember the time, bro, like, you, you can't get over remember the time, remember the time you were up there, like, the vibe, the feeling, the rhythm, like, the music video, is a thing, the thing about remember the time is the music video and the song are on the same level, they're both on the same level, like, it's, it's not a thing because so sometimes a song could be better than a music video, the music video could be better than the song, but for this one, it's on the same level. Remember the time and the music video on the same level, you know, the energy, like, this song, I could say, in a way, I kind of feel like it's underrated, it gets hype, but I, I feel like I can get more hype, you know, because MJ didn't really perform that much on stage, which is... I kind of wish he did because remember the time it's just it's just a, a great vibe song like this is a summer jam like this this is a fire song like the hook the words the like for me it's a 10 out of 10 I don't know about you but remember the time's up there the question's amazing you know I mean it's just not really for me my only issue was, was the question for me it's not really my time for MJ but still, there's no denying that I remember the time MJ is probably one of his more magical, memorable moments. Remember the time, you were up there too. You are amazing. Get off the remember the time, what else do we have? <clears throat> remember the time may be amazing. The music video, the swagger, the New Jack Swing, the R&B in it. The Diana 2, the hard rock, the different feel for MJ. And obviously, black or white, to reunite people. But all of that doesn't be the groove, the dark groove of Rock With You. All of those do not beat the groove that Rock With You has. Rock With You is a groove killer. I don't know anyone, if you're telling me that these ones I've listed are better than Rock With You, that's a, that's a problem. Rock With You, Rock With You, we have Rock With You. Why? It puts you in this type of state of mind of relaxation, pure relaxation. But at the same time, you want to dance. It's weird because yeah, yeah rock with you puts you in this state of relaxation that you really can't help. Like you really can't help but to just get up and move and just do your thing. And that's special, especially for a song. The whole point of a song is to make you feel a certain way. Rock with you nails that 10 out of 10. And not only that, it's MJ's most iconic about the costume. No one, I don't care, no one in a hundred years is repping the costume of Rock with you. Like, that. that's for MJ only, not me. I don't know any artist that can rep that up, but Rock with you is just an amazing special moment. And, um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that still bangs. Imagine that song came out. We're talking four years ago and it's still and it's still is a group killer to this day. That's just special. I don't know about you, but it's that simply just special. And yeah, that that, that that's just the magic of Michael Jackson, you know, his music lives forever. But Rock With You, that's just an amazing song. When I have in this list that, I mean, you must be thinking, what can be Rock With You? But the next one I have in this list that can be all of those songs, The Moment. Is the way you make me feel. Yes, the way you make me feel. The way you make me feel. That song. Now, this is this is similar to, to remember the time. See, see, the way you make me feel. It's it's like this, right? The music video is better than the song. Let's just let's just keep it like if if, if the music video wasn't the way it was, like in the actual. Um, in the actual music video, it it wouldn't be as cold as it is as we know. Like the way it begins, you know, MJ pushes, you know, he he says his line like with so much aggression, with so much urge, like I want you, and he starts dancing and starts doing his own thing and stuff. That part will never be taught. I don't know whatever music video would be taught. Now I know many artists like Justin Bieber. Chris Brown, they all done their own version of it, but it still doesn't hit the hype of the way you make me feel like that. That is just its own. 
Like, there's, there's, there's no beat in the way you make that music video. And my, me personally, the reason why I love this, the costume, I just love the, the swag that MJ had in this music video. That this costume is on another level in this music video. Like, I think MJ, you know, he slayed it so well for the costume. Like, it's the thing is that it's simple. He didn't overdo it. I like, remember the time and stuff. It's a simple costume that like, anyone could, even I can wear it. On a normal, I can wear that costume on a normal day. I just like the way MJ dressed for that music. I just think he's one of his hardest clothes ever. This is not me putting, you know, what's going on. Like, there's a lot of fire, fire things going on, but the way he made me feel is up there. But this is just how I see, you know, MJ's best moments black or white, dirty down or. Remember the time, rock with you, groove killer, the way you made me feel. These are just the list. And these are moments I feel like were the best in MJ's career. Like these are moments that define MJ the, the king of pop he is today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you agree with me and yeah, it's been your boy Nats part two, you know. The glow's still there, MJ's still the king of pop and you know it. And stay legendary.